Hello, um, it's me again. We're on our channel One Purpose Perspective and Presence. My name is Ruiz Mang, and today we are going to talk about raising children. But before I start, please do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one created especially for you. Raising children, or rather I should have said parenting. But we all know that in the society we now live in, um, it's not only parents who raise children, but some children are raised by guardians in different forms. So I would broaden the topic by saying just raising children for anyone who finds themselves in a position where they have to raise children, even if not of their own. There tends to be this misunderstanding to parents, or rather to people who raise children, as to, you know, with all the different activities that it entails, the time it takes, and all those things, as to what the, what the whole purpose of that is, to raise a child. How long does it go for? And where does it end, if at all it has to end? <clears throat> I think anything that we do in life, it's always important for us to set a purpose for it. Because it's only when you have a purpose for something that we would then have a context, a tongue context in which to view all the activities that would unfold along the way. We'll be able to say something is right for this or is not right for this if we know what the this is. And that this is the purpose. Depending on the purpose you set, then certain things become right, certain things become wrong. So the same with parenting. It has to have a purpose. Is it the same purpose? It may seem different. And yet, yes, it is the same purpose. Because the reason for parenting, the reason for raising a child, has got happiness at the end of that whole process. Happiness both ways. Happiness of the one who's being raised, who's getting raised, and happiness of the one who raises them. The happiness of parenting. And the happiness that we get as a child who grows up from being raised by someone. So happiness, just like everything else in life, is at the end of the process of parenting, of raising children. So what is the purpose for raising a child? The purpose of raising a child, I think, comes from, firstly, the person who raises the child, let's say in this case a parent, being able to look at themselves as an entity, as an individual, and being happy with what they see in themselves, in the things they're able to do in order to achieve their own happiness in life. When one is able to have that confidence in themselves, in the abilities they have to achieve their happiness in life. That is happiness itself of that person. So when you take another human being and you say we want to raise them, it is not because of any other reason except to help them to be in the situation, in the state that we currently find ourselves in, where we say, we are alive, we have abilities to be happy in life, and we are using those abilities, and we are happy as a result. Because to raise a child, it is more like to teach someone 
when a teacher teaches a student, the teacher acknowledges that I have knowledge or some understanding, and that knowledge makes me feel able, makes me feel heavy, happy. I'm able to be happy in life because I have this knowledge. So to have this knowledge is an advantage. And so I want to take this knowledge and impart it to you so that you could also be in a situation where, like me, you have knowledge that helps you to be happy. So at some point, when, this, when the teacher has succeeded in teaching the student, the student must be like the teacher. The student must be able to derive from their knowledge the same benefits that their teacher derives from having that knowledge. So teaching, just like parenting, all of it is to take the happiness that we have as individuals and to share it with someone whom we perceive as needing that same kind of happiness. So it's for that reason that at the end of teaching, at the end of parenting, there is happiness for the teacher and for the student, for the parent and for the child. So, when we raise a child, the objective is to get that child to be at this desirable state where we are. Of course, if we are miserable people, we would raise a child to be miserable too. If we are happy people, we will raise the child to be a happy person. And maybe the important thing is for the parents to really be honest in their assessment of who they are, where they are. Are we happy? Are we unhappy? Because it is in that context that where we are that we will also be able to raise another child. And yes, sometimes we can easily confuse misery with happiness. Especially if, if we are not able to transmute whatever pain it, there is in our lives into being a form of happiness that would bring some benefit from some situation that would normally be a painful one. But that I will discuss in another topic, in another video. But essentially, in this case, a parent raises a child to get them to the happiness that they, they, they themselves are in. Okay? So, how do we do this? A child is not any specific thing, just like us as parents, just like anyone. A child is an entity that is made happy by many things. When you ask a person, how are you? We are essentially asking, how are the situations in your life? We are not specifically asking about the particular situation because we know that a life is made of situations, relationships that we make, the roles that we play. We play each one of us different roles from the moment we wake up until we go to sleep. Roles which require that we use different tools, different abilities, different tones of voice. So when you talk about the human being, we're talking about those situations in which they derive happiness. And when you ask someone, are you well? We are asking whether they are successful in deriving happiness from the different roles that they have to play in life. So a child, like a human, like every human being, 
it's made of different situations of different things, different abilities and roles and things like that. So to raise a child is to talk to those different roles that the child has to play in life. Is to give them abilities that would help them to be able to dispatch of those roles the right way in the pursuit of happiness. We often, as parents, get our children involved in many situations. You know, in many situations, let's say, getting them to enroll in different sporting codes. Expose them to different situations of life. Get them to interact as much as they can with the different aspects of the environment. Why do we do that? It's because we want them to get to understand more things, to be proficient in the different aspects of life, to be proficient in communicating, to be proficient in different sporting codes, in different things. Because it is when we have expanded those options to them that they'll be able to interact with the different things until they get to a point where they could begin to maybe even choose the ones that they are more proficient in and those would then become the career that they pick or something that we call their talent that they get to focus on and do well. So we basically throw a whole lot of things at them for them to choose from. And from those choices to develop in ways that would help them to basically be so motivated by what they do that they no longer need our intervention to encourage them, but they themselves are motivated from within by the love that they have developed from what they're doing, the happiness they see coming from these things that they're doing. So in other words, we are raising a child to be to be able to derive the same happiness that you're deriving from life, but by themselves. We are giving children the confidence in their ability to pursue happiness by themselves. And once we have raised them that way to a certain level, and ever slowly giving them the freedom to pursue certain things in life and find happiness, our confidence grows, the confidence in letting them be without much of our involvement. Because now at the end of it all, the reason we are raising them is for them to be able to pursue happiness, to be able to do the same things that we are able to do for them. I mean, we give them food, buy them clothes, we take them to different things for them to be happy. But then in doing that, we are trying to help them to be able to achieve the same things, the same kind of happiness, but on their own. And the success of our parenting, of our raising them, could then also only be measured in terms of our children's ability to find happiness by themselves without much of our involvement. Because if we succeed in doing that, it means we have succeeded in putting them in where they could be happy and sustain their happiness by themselves and thereby be like us. And when a parent is able to look at a child and say, 
look at my child, they are happy, they are able to do everything I used to do for them and for them and even more, that becomes the measure of success to the parent as having succeed, succeeded in raising a child. And that's where the happiness of child raising would come from. I think I'll end it here for today and thank you very much.